This is a team I made with one of my Patreons. And uh, it's a good team. It's a solid squad. Urshi Dark is very, very slept on. So I really, really like that this team has Urshi Dark in it. Um, and, you know, one thing that like a lot of like rain teams and Zashi teams have in common is they have bad matchup for Shedinja. This team does not have a bad match for Shedinja. Uh, I really, really like a lot of what this team brings to the table. And uh, I think we can get some good wins with it. I wonder what that Arc is. That's pro it's probably Voltazorb, actually. Hmm. So let's go Zashian as a weed. Zashian's good versus all of those. Do you want to weed Pelipper? Because you, you can just blow half those away with Pelipper. Maybe not. Ludi is okay. Actually, I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead Urshapu because if they want to get it, if they want to try and freaking lead with that uh, Jelly Scent, they're in for a bad time. And if they want to go a Moon Trick Room, I think we're. I think we'll manage by bringing something like Pelipper. I think Zap is also usable here. I'm gonna try the Zap. I don't know. If, I don't know if Zap's the right play, but I think I'm gonna bring the Zap. Ludi is usually really nice. I'm just not a fan of Ludi versus oh, Ludi is really nice here i'm not a fan of Ludi versus Veltal, so let's see rotom h yeah i see like i like rotom h as well it's very similar to zapdos but it has that big water weakness which i'm not a big fan of and zapdos gets a recovery move so that's really really good but um someone's asking where to post teams on patreon um the patreon team submissions haven't opened yet open it up early next week early next week is when they're coming up and they're going to be official posts. You know, you'll see the official posts. I have to post my Mewtwo team on there probably tomorrow. And then I'm going to post on Monday probably the team submission post. All right, let's go. Jelly Sun Stock, the exact lead that I thought we were going to see. It's great. This is the exact, exact lead I thought we were going to see. So the question is, like, which one of them is sashed, right? Are they ally switching? Like, which one of these is sashed? Because we can KO the Stock up. Or the Jelly Scent this turn. You can just Sacred Sword should still KO. And like Wicked Bow should just KO. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this one standard. If you have the tools to beat it, you have the tools to beat it, you know? Are they switching out jelly? Alright, switching out there. So that it's probably gonna be it the worst case scenario it has to be like Sash Jelly Scent. Which I don't know about that one, Chief. All right, that's not sashed. Ugh. All right. Are you really sash jelly scent? Like, I wouldn't even be mad if I'm being completely honest. I wouldn't even be mad if it was like sash jelly scent. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I played standard. I played standard. You ain't got nothing, you know? And that's the thing. Like, Dark Urshi is so anti-meta right now. Everyone's like, that team totally has water Urshi. And I'm like, no, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't need it. So good first turn for me. Probably going to be Yveltal coming out here. Lando. Bro, they didn't bring the Yveltal. That's fine. So what do we have in the back? We have Zap. So that means we probably just want to get the Lando off the board. It's just like Behemoth, Blade, Wicked Blow, and the Lando got it. Easy peasy. Sash seems logical. It does. Yeah, one of those seemed like it was Sash. Yo, Protect. Yo, I'm not even mad. Protect against Urshi is not even terrible. So they're gonna get a TR up, but like I don't think this team has enough tools to actually break our Zacian. I actually think that Lando outspeeds our Zacian. I actually do think that it outspeeds Zacian. We're gonna sucker punch it anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, but there's the TR. I think TR at uh, you know, what is it? Our Urshu is at minus one, because that intimidate. But uh, I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go. Yeah, I've always liked the Water Urshifu more, but, like, we're getting to a point where it's so meta that, like, the Dark One just comes in and tears people apart because they're just not ready for it anymore. SP, baby! Let's go. Lando, down for the count. And let's see, if, is this Sash Daka? Gyro. Not doing a lot. Watch, look at this. Oh, is that a crit? It had to crit, right? That's a crit, yeah. Our Zacian is, like, no speed in it. Good for them! Yo, crit's up! Get a beast boost off that? Never lucky me, right? Defense boost. All right, so our Urshi's intimidated. That sucked. That makes me sad. That's a, that's like people just keep getting these lucky crits, man. That's all right. 
I was actually thinking about what the right play here is. I'm intimidated on my Urshi right now. So it's actually the right play if we're going to be playing this correctly to just do it like this. And bringing our Urshi unintimidated. Crits buddies. Coil, Melodic, Gas, Weezing, and Zacian. I've seen people use that too, yeah. Big Zap energy. Doesn't matter if they Rock Slide. I, I don't really care. They won't be able to kill the Zap. Yep, Gyro again. Not doing anything. Yo, Zap. Yo, eat some of these helmets. Rocky helmet. Rocky helmet shouldn't affect rock types. And now we'll never know if he's sashed. Yeah, we got the win, though. Pelper has this on lock. Stone Edge, bro. This guy's so angry right now. Have you ever seen a stock attack and so angry with the big Stone Edge? It's, it has to be full attack, too. It's the only way it's getting this damage down. And he hit it. What an absolute chad. But he's gonna go away. Pelipper. Pelipper don't care about any of that. <laughs> Big wins up for us. Man, that stalker was angry. Okay. Duskmane team again. Guys, let's run the items down. It's Citrus Duskmane. It's the Iron Ball on the Zap. It's Black Sludge Moon. Right? Are they might getting all these correct? I wonder if they're going to go fake out. Like, we can just leave fake out too. Like, I actually really don't hate Ludi here. I think Ludi is actually a pretty nice play here. Like, if we go Ludi Pelipper, we have fake out and Scald potential. And if they want to switch in their Feeny, like, I'm still a Ludi Cola. You know, I think that's a really good play here. Um, I also think I can get away with going with Lando. I think Lando could be really, really good in this situation. Ludi's cool. Let me see my speed tiers. Life Orb Mimikyu, thank you. 112. So that would break there. Still gonna bring the Zacian. I think we're just gonna do these two. I think that's okay. I don't know if I would feel about Urshifu Dark here though. Because like Mimikyu and Feeny all both just die to it. Like they both check it. Zap has Rocky Helmet. I'm gonna run the Rat Zap. Zap's a good switch in for this. Zap's good here. Two is made to keep the Necrozma alive and have it sweep with Zapdos to beat in Sin. Okay. Was that Sand Force Lando? Oh, is it? It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be Sand Force. Bro. <laughs> Are we just unable to use Lando? <laughs> Alright, as a Twitch sub, how do we get access to the team submission page on Discord? So, once you have linked your Discord and Twitch, so go into Discord, go to your settings, link your Discord and Twitch... And then from there, you should be able to post it. It usually takes about five minutes for it to, like, authenticate. But, yeah. So we have a higher fake-out speed tier than I do. Like, a lot higher. Like, a lot higher. Let's see. If they don't click fake out, this is the, this is the best play because it does the exact same thing that I would do in any situation. Yep, this is the right play. This is going to punish them super freaking hard. Yeah. Muddy water. Big accuracy drops incoming chat. Yo, you're going to miss. You're going to miss trick room. Oh. We take that. Oh, the double accuracy drop. Look at me with the reward. Rewarded for my perfect play. The truth is, I'm out here, right? And I get a Scald. Can we get a Burn? Are there any Burners in chat? Burn! Never look. Muddy Water connects. Yo, that's right. That's a plus one always hits with Muddy Water. All right, so we're a little pinned. But I don't think it's like that big of a deal. I am not afraid of a Dusk main on this board. You, can, you can't spread yourself correctly enough to be able to stop me here, I don't think. It's we're, we're in one of those games where it's not showing the music either. It's such a weird scenario where it just doesn't show the music. It makes it so much more ominous. Can Mimikyu get burned for breaking disguise? Yes. So you could will with Mimikyu and burn it. It won't break the disguise. They're a little bit pinned right now. So they can't break our Ludi, I don't think. Yeah, they, they have to switch. Probably Feeny, maybe? 
But like, V doesn't want any part of what Woody Cole is using. Okay, that works as well. Are you protecting? Photon. So Photon won't KO either of these guys, I don't think. Whew, look at our EV spread. Look at our EV spread! And I say R because I, I built this team. <laughs> it's a, one of my Patreon teams. All right, there's the Citrus. And again, no burn. A little bit never lucky right now. This is a team I made in one of my coaching sessions. I can't believe they just hit that geyser, by the way. Never lucky, man. Can we get another accuracy drop? Another one! Never lucky. Okay. Um, we definitely should be switching out and protecting this turn. Switch into... Sashin's a good switch in. Actually, they're going to geyser, right? So I'm just going to switch in my zap. And they'll just go for a Rocky Helmet KO into it. Geyser makes contact, right? Does Geyser make contact? Oh, that's going to be bad. It's Trick Room as well. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it doesn't have Trick Room. Or it doesn't have Protect. But let's see. Like, Does does Geyser make contact? I'd love it if they just lost that thing right now. Yep. Obviously knew the Spore was going in there. I'm just trying to waste Trick Room turns. Show me Geyser. Show me Sunshield Strike. I knew that one would have made contact. Let's go. I don't think it makes contact either. Ah, that sucks. That sucks, man. Never lucky. All right. Turns on Trick Room. R. Two. Cool. You're in a good spot. I'm just going to fodder here. Come back out. Get our fake outs re upped. Don't, I don't really need this Ludi anymore. Be cool to block a Spore. You just gotta send out a Pokemon that has Protect next turn, like Pelipper. Spore blocked! Doesn't affect Ludi. Photon Geyser. Big blocked. Oh my gosh, it's like I play the game, chat! Chat, look at, look at us playing games. Yo, the games are being played right now. Alright, so we could get put to sleep on our Zap. Because I can fake out that Duskman right now. And then we'll get put to sleep on Zap, but then Trick Room ends, right? And then we just muddy water and we win. I'm gonna go I'm gonna click the hurricane instead of a roost, because I think it's a win-win if I do it like this. So you could totally sleep powder my zap, but then I just muddy water your Yeah, go for it. If this so I'm down to I'm down to take your uh, Moongus out. Like that's absolutely fine with me. Also, see, I, I think it's so much better than the Roost because it, it makes it so you get, like, less healing from the, uh, you know, Black Sludge. Hopefully this KOs, right? I have no idea. Um, yeah, it does. Um, so, like, I, I think that's better than the Roost. Another crit! Yo, we keep fighting this team. We keep critting the Amoongus. <laughs> I don't think we need it, though. Um, and then I think all we have to do is bring up Pelipper, and I think we win the game. Yeah, Pelipper should be uh, enough to win the game because we want to make it so we can just use Hurricane. We don't even need Zashian. And you say, I say never lucky, but I double action shot in the first turn. But I also didn't. This guy's hit every move. If anything, that is never lucky. I've conditioned them into missing other moves, and so I'm playing around them missing, and they're not. So it is never lucky. I've been watching you, Ritz, a long time now. Love your streams. I think it's a great oh, a time already to sub. Yo, Avi, that would be awesome. I would, I would take that. Yo, thank you for the follow as well. Cool. So we should just be able to double into this uh, Dusk main and get the win. They're going to try to reset that TR. Yeah, we're not going to deal with it. See, this is where I would use my adrenaline or Pelipper, and I would pop off right now. Occasionally unlucky. That's me. Mr. Occasional Unluck. It's better to Hurricane, right? I don't know if Zapdos is faster than this Pelipper. This Pelipper is actually might be a, like a really speedy set. I just want to check. 121.86. Awesome. So Zapdos is faster. So if they are fake outing, um, you know, they could fake out one, but not both. Let's go. And we wanted to say, uh, I also wanted to say there's a reason we saved our Zashi in there. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we, we didn't get intimidated on the incense slot. So like we saved that on purpose. And we need to be taking these. I think this game's a perfect example of like we're playing against this team. We fought against one using a different team, uh, like a little bit earlier using Slay Shots team. And we knew a lot more of their items. Uh, Alex Agloza, the late great Alex Agloza, once said, "Once a team is known, it is bad like forever. Like once, once a team is known, it's like unable to be good again. Just because like everyone knows the tech, right? So like this team got like top thirty on the ladder. Someone said uh, last season, but like 
now that it's published, like everyone knows its items and it's like impossible with it. And that's the same like thing that I always like to say when people watch me play and then they like uh, do like a tournament or whatever and they play me in the tournament. Yeah, they're not watching my actual moves I'm clicking, but they know all my items and they know like the general play style for the team. It's like impossible to win in those situations. I think that's a perfect example. It's gonna be Water Urshi on their side. Is the, all right, is this Sand Force Lando or Sheer Force? All right, it's Sheer Force, thank goodness, okay. I think you actually want to lead, like... I, I don't see a problem leading, like, Pelipper Ludi. Like, I, I really just don't see the problem leading Pelipper Ludi. You could only fake out one. Right? And I get my reign set, which is, like, the reason why I do it. Yo, Kos, dropping the sub! Kosuke93! Thank you. That's a plus one month. Yo, we take that all the way to the bank here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate you. I value you. Both these are good. I think I'm going to the Zap, just because Zap is... Zap can deal with uh, Amung and Urshi and Rilla versus Lando just deals with like Incin versus I guess Zap also can deal with Incin. Let's go. Hope Goza comes back. Uh, goza has been playing Unite, right? Didn't you play Unite? But thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. You can still use Shuckle Chansey. She's got Taunted. Right, let's see. How's this going to go? We're a Master Ball. So like, let's see how it goes. What do you guys think they're going to loop with? Lucky Urshi. Go for it. They woke up to his violence today. I wonder if we can just KO. I wonder if we just KO Lucky here. I think I'm going to Tailwind. I fake out Tailwind? Seems nice, right? Ludi would outspeed there. Just go for like a Muddy Water into the Lucky Slot? Yeah, that's, I know you're protecting. So there's no reason to go fake out Scald there when you can just fake out Tailwind. Oh my god, that's so good for me. Do I outspeed? I don't know if this Pelipper actually outspeeds that Lucky. I have no idea. What number do we have to get to to outspeed Lucky? Like 134 or something? Nope. Oh, none of these guys. Well, the Ludi does, but the Pelipper doesn't. We don't really have any good switch-ins there either. I guess I could switch in my Zacian. But it is a free Tailwind, yeah. It's a free Tailwind. I guess we'll just spot with the Pelipper in it. That's totally fine. Actually, what if I went like this? And this will make us be able to break the Sash in the Lucky. And we're ignoring the Urshfu. Fuck, the Urshfu's useless. If you throw a ditto in front of this guy's work, what happens? It does not copy it. And we've done that before on stream, and it's hilarious. This should be enough to KO the Alecky if we hit. Awesome. So this will break Sash. they will make the Alecky slower than our Pelipper. Maybe. <laughs> Please be slow. If this Alecky still outspeeds his Pokemon, has no business being this busted, right? Tailwind and Icy Wind. Bro, he still outspeeds. That is so freaking crazy. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. That is so fucking dumb. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's frustrating. That's crazy though, right? Maybe it's choice. I mean, maybe it's fucking broken as all hell. Oh my gosh. That's so nutty. 200 base speed, kind of fair. I know, right? It's like, bro, where are you looking right now? All right. We want to stick this damage in. Yeah, we know they're switching that. They're switching to Incin, right? So that's why we're water attacking. Yep, Incin. Obvious! Let's see what they're doing with the Urshi, though. If we miss our player up, that would suck. We'd lose the game, basically. Yeah, it's not choice. It's not. Awesome, that's good. A lot of damage on the Incin. They can pop a Citrus right here. Some Citrus. Yo, we take these. Sick. Oh, and a crit. Sometimes never lucky. All right, so they're going to have Fake Out Pressure right now. They can Fake Out a Zacian. I don't think that that Zern can, like, ever break Zacian, though. So it's fine. So we're just going to Muddy Water. Muddy Water will stick in. We do a lot to that Xerneas. Um. Oh, lucky. This is not the play. Zashian will outspeed the Lecky here. Alright, 
who are they gonna fake out? I'm fine doing it like this. Lucky has protect, it's already shown it. Yep, this is the right play for me. So we're doubling, even if they go for a protect fake out, which is like not the play, this punish should protect fake out. Yeah, I'm a good player, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, guys, I know I'm a good player. Yep. I got these, I got those. Okay. No more Tailwind, so we're we're back down to being slower than the Seleki. But I think Muddy Water will just kill it. So I actually think we just double into the Zern. Alright. I think we got it. No Protect. Yeah, this we just won. We won! In Master Ball. Using an amazing Zashian Pelipper squad. Geo's up! Geo's up! Geo about to be falling down! I guess we're at minus one, or we're at neutral on our Zashin, but I still think we have it. There's the Geo. I still can't believe Lucky outspeeds Pelipper. At minus one, Lucky outspeeds Pelipper in a tailwind. That's like so crazy. Like speed creep has come so far. It's really come full circle. There's the money water. Oh, never lucky. Missing on the Lucky, the only- Oh, double miss! Yo, a little bit never lucky. All right, we might lose now. I'm not even gonna lie, that might lose us the game. We needed to hit that in the turn, because this might not KO. All right, still okay. KO'd. All right, because neutral, our Zacian has zero, zero investment. So like that had to be a full sweeper soon. Double Muddy Water miss though. No, ain't nobody liking to see that. No, nobody liked that. Very scary. Don't even want to miss anymore. They went for that raw Geomancy though. <laughs> man, I just double missed that Muddy Water, man. That game tried everything to make me lose at the very end, and I was like, no, I will win. Like I was talking about, this is one of the teams that I made in one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Aaron Marshall is one of my Patreons. We made this team together over the course of a couple sessions, so it makes sense. Like, that's why I played with it really well. That's why I knew how much damage I could take. That's why, for the most part, I knew what I would outspeed other than that Pelipper Lucky thing. But, um, yeah, like, this is a really cool team. It's pretty anti-meta because it still uses, like, Woody Pelipper, which a lot of people aren't really using right now. And uh, I really like the Dark Urshifu tech on this team. So it's a really, really fun team. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd recommend it. it. It does definitely do the things that it needs to do.